Hey everyone, happy new year. Wow, that sun is bright. Um, so it is January 1st. Yay! Um, let's see, how do I get out of the sun? I'm gonna change my seat over here. I don't know if that really helps or not. I have a really bad glare. There she is. <laughs> um, okay. So, I'm I'm having a hard time finding a spot to talk to you guys here. Okay. Happy New Year, everyone. There you guys are. All right. Whew. Uh, what a morning. Um, January 1st already. Um, the new year is starting off with a bang. Um, I got my kids, and this is my holiday, and we are going to go to church. First thing, one of the things I told the kids for 2023, no excuses. Even if I'm sick, um, I'm not contagious or anything like that. I'm still just trying to deal with the, you know, the red nose. Um, in that last video, by the way, the little white thing that was hanging, that was Neosporum. It wasn't a booger. Just so you guys know. <laughs> um, but uh, New Year has begun. And um, I'm, I, I want to go to church. I want to go to church and worship my Lord and uh, Jesus Christ. And I want to um, focus on Him this year. Um, my relationship with God. That's my number one goal for 2023 is um to teach my kids about jesus christ and um just you know um how much i'm relying on god um you know god is um going to lead every decision i make i'm gonna trust him um, um for the wisdom and for the patience that i need um i i've already used him this morning <laughs> um you know, my ex-husband um, seems to want to pick a fight with me this morning. And um, instead of snapping right back, um, I just ignored it. And so um, that is one thing that I am going to um, really focus on this year is letting God um, lead me in all my decisions and everything I say um, and everything I do. And that's going to be something that's very difficult because... Um, you know, I um, want to be angry. I'm hurt. I'm hurt by my ex-husband. And, um, you know, it would be very easy to blame God. It really would. Um, because he is putting me in um, situations that I wasn't expecting. Um, for 2022, 2021 was bad. Um, but, you know, 2023, it's a new year, and I have, um, done a lot of soul searching this year. I have done a lot of, um, just communication in relationship with, with God, and, um, you know, he has guided me, and he has reassured me that what I'm going through is not, um, something that, he wants for me um what i'm going through is something that um is to help build me to be stronger it's not something that um is to tear me down even more than i already was in my marriage and so um you know being on my own and having the life that i want to live um and for christ and um to be a witness god has really really told me that the number one thing he wants from from me is to be a witness um and i think that um that's why i'm in the situation i'm in is because god wants to use me for what he has created me to be and um you know i've had a really really comfortable and very nice life um i have had a very um 
I was saved when I was five. And um, I grew up in church. And I know what's right. I know what's wrong. I had a family unit that um, I grew up with. Parents who loved me and who would do anything for me. Um, but they would also um, condemn me for my sins. Um, and they would, uh, you know, point me in the right direction. And, um, you know, they didn't enable me, you know. And um, they supported me, though. And um, I always have grown up with the conscience of um, the Holy Spirit living inside me. Um, when I am sinning, I um, feel under conviction. And it's uh, very deep. And it's very um, hard sometimes to get out of that rut of that conviction that I feel um, and uh, especially in my marriage, I had a really hard time with uh, sin in our marriage and very hard time with um, explaining to my spouse that, you know, I'm struggling with this and I don't want to do it and I don't um, want to participate in it. I want to eliminate sin from my life. And, um, you know, I want to focus more on God. I've had a desire to have the Holy Spirit just live within me and grow and, and manifest himself. I, I want to be on fire for, for God. And um, in my marriage, when I'm in a marriage where we're unequally yoked, it was very difficult for me to get out of that um, slump that I was in and out of that um, conviction of um, submitting to someone who I was unequally yoked with. So, um, you know, now that I no longer have to worry about um, that other person in my life my as my spouse, I can um, now focus on what God has um, created me to do and like I said, right now, he is telling me, be a witness, be a witness, um, use your testimony um, and use your marriage and your divorce and the things you've learned. And um, he's going to uh, help me as I go through 2023 this year. And um, I'm very excited for the things that is going to happen. Um, and so, you know, gosh, my nose is still red, you guys. Oh, I am so sick and tired of blowing my nose and um, feeling congestion. My ears right now are echoing when I talk. And uh, so um, it just keeps pulling from here to here, you know, and up here and out. <laughs> and um, But I am feeling 100% better than I was uh, a week ago, last Sunday. So, um yeah, we uh, are going to spend today for the new year with family and church. And uh, my church is my family, you know. And um, so that's what we're going to do. And I get to spend the day with my granddaughter. So I'm very happy about that. And we get to watch the Chiefs game. Go Chiefs. So um, today is going to be filled with um, family fun and food and I'm very excited about starting the new year with that and then coming home and prepping for um, January 2nd and for a new week um, at the daycare and I'm having to set up my curriculum for the week and I haven't done that yet so I need to get that done um, I did get my living room cleaned up yesterday, and I did not get my kitchen done. So, um, hopefully I'll have time to do that this evening before going to bed. And, um, you know, I'm just going to take one day at a time. That's kind of something else that God has told me. Take one day at a time. And um, I'm going to bring you guys along with me almost every day. Uh, make a video as much as I can about something that I do. Um, this is my life. Single, stay-at-home mom. Um, I do work at the daycare across the street. And, um, you know, I, I stay home other than that. So, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the things that are going to happen this year. 
And um, I know that God's got it. God's got everything. Um, and so um, I love my little family. I'm sitting here looking at my kitty cat. I'll show you guys. Baby. Hi, baby. My kitty cat's name is Baby. Come here, baby. Come here. You want to come say hi? Say hi to YouTube. You want to come say hi? Baby. Come here. She doesn't want to say hi. <laughs> Um, but she is very, very happy. I was, um, talking to my mom the other day and we were talking about the cat and how my cat walked from my house over here to my apartment and, um, she's been here ever since. She really loves it here and she is so happy and, um, so I'm very happy to have her, um, in my life. I didn't get my dog out of my divorce. Um, my husband actually got rid of the dog, um, and it's sad, but um, he was a German Shepherd, and there's no way I could have had that dog in this apartment anyways, and um, just wasn't fair to, you know, have the kids lose their dog. But, um, you know, when I reflect back at 2022, um, so much was taken away and so much was given. And um, the things that were taken away, it doesn't determine who I am. It doesn't um, affect me in a way that is um, negative. Uh, I have come out of 2022 on top. Um, I started off having a really bad year going through my divorce and uh, finalizing my divorce February 8th, 2022, and um, not even able to get my stuff um, and my property all settled um, until the end of March. And then my property wasn't even settled until November of this year um, of 2022. And so, um, it's taking forever for, um, this divorce to finalize and, um, but I am happy. I'm happy with, um, how I came on top and, um, very excited to see what God's going to do for me and my boys this year in 2023 and, um, how God's going to use me, um, for his glory and, so, um, I hope you guys enjoy watching the channel this year. I have so many plans, you guys, so many. Um, and like I said, I'm going to give myself grace and we're going to do one step at a time, one day at a time. And I'm going to let God, um, lead me in every decision I make for this channel, for what I say, I'm going to pray about it. And, um, if God is speaking to me and even if I'm in the shower and I get out of the shower and I don't have my makeup on like the other day's video and I look like a hot mess, it doesn't matter. I'm going to turn on the camera and speak what God tells me to speak about. So, um, this year is going to be growth and it's going to be, um, a spiritual growing and a relationship with Christ. And I'm super excited, um, for, uh, the new year. So, um, I just want to give you guys an update. Um, my kids are in the shower getting ready for church. And so, um, I will talk to you later today, probably if not tomorrow. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.